Hello, my name is Noah Marone. Welcome to our first episode of TFB International News. As you can see, I don't have a co-anchor because he's a f**k. But uh, more about that at 11. Now, our top stories today are a horse penis causing trouble in Homeland. Uh, Chris Brown is uh, in the news again, of course. And uh, lastly, something about the Queen of England. But before we get to that, let's go to our weather guy, Mark Farrell. Show us how the weather's going out there, Mark. Hi, I'm Mark Farrell, and here's today's weather. As you can see by the strange red line, there's a high-pressure system coming in from the east. Down here, there's some rain, although it's probably going to turn into snow because it's pretty cold. In fact, it's so cold, it'll be negative 5 degrees every day of the week, both a high and a low of negative 5. When you take the wind chill into account, that'll be negative 25 on Monday, negative 20 on Tuesday, negative 23 on Wednesday, and 42 on Thursday. How does wind chill work? I don't know, but for some reason, that one's higher up. Anyway, if you look over here, this is the ocean. It's a blue thing where lots of animals live and ships go. Weather is there as well. Hurricanes come from here sometimes. It may or may not be hurricane season at the time this show airs. If you look over here, there's some more stuff. And things. I didn't go to school for this. Do you know what this, you know, see, do you know what that means? Like, there's the red one here, and there's like a blue one here. What's, what's the, what's the, what's the blue one? The cold front. Oh, okay, all right. So this is, this is, this is a hot back, and here's the cold front. So when a hot back meets a cold front, they kind of, they make weather. Little weather babies. Like this. The rain snow. I'm Mark Farrell. Back to you in the studio. On New Year's Eve, Michael McPhee from Kyrgyzstan was arrested for comparing a local delicacy to a horse penis. Here's a picture of him. All right, just, I'm just gonna, is my note, is my note, no, no, oh, I had it, I had it, it's, it's right here, right, right here, okay, right here. All right, this is what it, this is what he looks like. And I, I guess, I mean, when you go to Irish and they say, oh, taste my Irish sausage, I mean, I guess that's what it means, or doesn't it? Huh. In other news, Chris Brown is now under investigation for battery theft. Wait, battery, that, that battery and theft. There we go. In La in Las Vegas, the victim was alleged to have been battered by Chris Brown. In then again, it's Las Vegas, Sin City. Whatever, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, not whatever the f happens posted on the internet so everyone can see. But you know, the world we live in. in uh, excuse me, my tortillas. In Britain news, people are really upset about being asked to hashtag clean for the queen. One man tweeted, because scrub the f***ing streets, you poor bastards, can actually be a real out loud opinion, right? In my opinion, you should pick up your own trash. I mean, honor your queen. She's too f***ing old to clean it. She'll break a back or a hip trying to pick up a Jaffa cake wrapper, whatever the f*** that is. Lazy sh Sorry, like I said before, my, my tortillas. Now we go back to Mark for the weather. Mark. Hi, I'm Mark, back with the weather. We're outside now. And boy, is it cold. In fact, it's so cold that the wind chill is about 20 below, even though there's hardly any wind, which means the temperature is about 15 below. Man, it's cold. Hey, my ex-wife's dead hurt. Ah! Oh, nice hit. And now we're going to go over to Entertainment News with Solomon Davies. Solomon. Hello, I'm Solomon Davies, and welcome to our Entertainment News segment on TFB International News. Hey, today's top entertainment story is all about Kanye West, and here's why. As most of you know, the farewell season of American Idol started this week, and guess who got a golden ticket? It's not Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's Kanye West. What? Um, what? The guy can't even sing! Are you kidding me? Which, by the way, he didn't even sing in the audition! No, don't think that I'm a supporter of American Idol, because I'm not, but come on! The can't even sing, and he didn't sing in the audition! Isn't that the whole point of the show? Am I wrong? If he doesn't get eliminated in Hollywood, I'm going to start a petition to make the show's season shorter. Kanye West and your fat ad! In other news, probably no one cares about. Hey, Justin Bieber, apparently he swears he doesn't have a girlfriend. Is he finally coming out of the closet? Finally, the truth comes out. Oh wait, Shit. There's a picture of him with Haley Baldwin. What the f Look at, look who he's looking at, that freaking pig. 
Then again, Haley Baldwin is kind of just putting her bosoms in his face, so we have that. So is he single or is he not? Truth be told, I couldn't give two sh Now we go back to Mark after his injury with Chris throwing a football at his head. Mark! Sorry. Oh my god! Is everyone all right? It's great. Back to you. Okay, uh, <laughs> I guess we're going back to the desk. Noah? I ain't got shit to say. Go over to Chris Berger with sports, Chris. Hello, I'm Chris Berger, and this is the sports section. Today, we're going to be talking about football, 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 and more football. No, Chris. Okay, today, football, baseball, hockey, and football. This week in baseball, we've reached the most exciting part of the season. That's right, free agency, where they pay people millions of dollars just because they can catch a little better than you. That's, that's about it. Baseball's a pretty boring sport. And now for hockey. Yes! Canada is still better than America. God damn it, Chris! Say more! Um, apparently the Penguins are on a terrible losing streak. I guess you could say the Penguins are on a pretty bad downhill slide. Just move on! And now for everybody's favorite segment. That's right, football. As the playoffs are upon us, we would like to take a moment of silence for those teams that did not make it. We know it will be a little harder for the owners of those teams to enjoy their bathtubs full of money at night. This is a wonderful time of year. Yes, the holidays are over, the midwinter blues are starting to kick in, but we still have those fabled Sundays to watch overgrown men fight to put odd-shaped balls into each other's end zones. May Peyton Manning's forehead grow ever bigger and Bill Belichick continue to be the Prince of Darkness. Good luck to all, and I can't wait for a Patriots-Cardinals Super Bowl. You know, they just lost last week, right? And I can't wait for a Broncos Panthers Super Bowl. Wait, Chris, why aren't you wearing pants? You guys aren't wearing pants either. I have a desk. So do I. And now it's time for health tips from Dr. Osberger and Nurse Fark Merrill. Hello, fellow health turnouts. We have Dr. Osberger and, and Nurse Fark Merrill I'm today. I'm not a nurse. Hey, Kenzie. And today, we're going to talk to you about this special new diet that people have come up with. Some people say it's magic. All you have to do is eat enriched white bread. It's all the, all the nutrients you'll ever need, and no calories. I guarantee within three weeks, you'll lose at least 20 pounds. It's just flour and water and like chemicals. And now onto this magic new pill we that have. That bread lasts forever. And now onto this magic new pill we have. It's a, uh, you see, it's a suppository, but it built at the same time. What? Uh, I, guess, I guess that's the magic part, you know? Uh, Science, right? Last week, Jenga was magic, and now this? So to get rid of your gluten intolerance, all you have to do is take this uh, suppository pill. Uh, it goes in any orifices you want. That's, it works. Trust me. Cool. Suppository means there's, it goes in your butt. There's enough gluten in there to kill an elephant. It's uh, So how does this work? You see, it takes the uh, 70s dad strategy of if I push my son enough, he'll eventually be good at football. Uh -huh. uh, it might kill you. That's a disclaimer. It'll probably kill you. But <laughs> it'll work. I promise. I guarantee it, actually. I don't get paid this enough for this. This will work. Are you kidding me? A pill? How big is this pill? It's big enough to put in your butt. That's huge. That big? That's huge. That much gluten? If somebody's gluten intolerant, that'll murder them. They'll have heart spasms or something. I don't know how that works. That's the magic. That's everything's magic with you. The Rubik's Cube was magic. That jank and that gasoline and now this stupid pill thing. There's what is wrong with you? Uh, are, we, are we done? Is that it? Is that it? Oh, well, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for tuning into our very first episode. And if you stayed awake the whole time, good for you. If you'd like to see more, then please watch more when we put more out. All right, thank you. Well, uh, I'm Noah Marone. That's it. The uh,